Hi guys, it's April with Cricut Crafting. I uh, posted a font in here for you guys that is free from Creative Market Streetlight. And Angela had a question about how to get these little squigglies and the extra pieces on there. So I'm going to show you guys um, basically how you do that. You're going to click on that link and come over to um, download the font. Uh, so once you're logged in and everything, you'll want to download it. And I've already done this, so you're going to see a couple of weird things but that you won't see when you do it if you haven't downloaded it. So I'm going to save that folder, and I'm just going to put it on my desktop. And you can see right here um, in Google Chrome that it's downloaded here. I'm going to double click it and open it up. And most of the time, you're going to want the OTF font. But I found with this particular font, if it, it happens to you, go in and get the true type font. Because I couldn't get them to show up with the OTF, but they did with the TTF. So go ahead and click on that and install. And once it installs, it's going to tell me that I already have it, so I'm just going to say no. Um, once it installs, you'll see this box basically just kind of disappear. All right, and then you can just close that out. You won't need that anymore, and we won't need the site where we loaded it. Then you're going to come into your design space, and if it doesn't show up in design space, you're going to want to um, come in and log out and then log back in. So now we're going to click on text in a new file, and I'm just going to use the word streetlight, and I'll show you why. And this is how it's going to come in on the Cricut Sands. And just so we have something to go by, I did upload the picture, and we're going to insert that in so that you guys can see what we're trying to achieve. And I left off a T there, didn't I? Okay. And we know that that definitely doesn't match, so we're going to come up here to the font. And then I'm going to go to the search box, and I'm going to type in street light. And there it is. It's going to bring that in. And we have all that spacing in there. That just happens when we bring this into design space. But we know that this is how it's meant to look. And you can use Font Lab Pad to get around that. Um, but it still won't give you these curlies without taking another step. So I'm just going to come over to the letter space. And I'm going to tighten this up just a little bit. We want all of these little tails to blend in. You, you don't want to leave your font like that. And I'm just going to go on line space. I got off track there. We're going to um, tighten those in. And we notice this doesn't meet, but these are looking pretty good. So at this point, instead of continuing on this letter spacing, I'm going to ungroup it to letters, and I'm going to slide this T over, not down, but just over, and then I'm going to select this portion and group it so I can move those as a group. I'm going to just slide this one in there, slide this S in there, and I'm going to slide this whole group over. Now we're getting to way, just to where they wanted this to look. I'm not going to weld it, I'm just going to group it so that I can move them around because we still want these decorative swishes and everything that come with this font. Now to get that you're going to need to go into your character map. I am on Windows 7 so you, yours may look a little different but you want your character map or your Babel map. Okay? And that this is where you're going to get all of those. When you look at this, your first rows are normally going to be, and they could be reversed in direction. It depends on how they built the font. Um, this is all your symbols and numbers, and then you have your capital or alpha, your alphabet in caps. Then you have the alphabet in lowercase. Now we know that this lowercase t, they have this big swoosh that goes through, and this one's not doing that. So that means there's an extra in there that will give that to me. And as, if, as I scroll down, you can see, um, and it's hard to see with these. Here is an A that has that little piece on it here. So we want to look for the S. 
that has that on there. And there may be just a this little curl with those dots or lines around it off to itself as well. Um, and it's really hard, like I said, it's really hard to see on Character Map. So you have to actually click on them, or I do, in order to see those. That's the R. I want the S and the T. There's my S with it on the right. So there must be one with it on the left, too. Or there's one by itself. Let's see. There's my T. There's the T there. So I'm going to select that. And I'm just going to leave it down there for right now. Let's see if I can find. Now that's just a curly Q there. This is a T with just the curl on it without these lines over it. In Babel Map, I believe it's a little easier to see. It's a little larger. Down here we have all our, our swooshes. That's what, that's what I call them anyway. And you're just going to look through there until you find the one you want. Um, and this applies, and these are on the letters. These are actually on the letters. There's the letter A. So we want to come down and find the T, L, M, N. There's that T with it off to the bottom. We want the one at the top. This font has a ton of extras. Uh, there we go. There's the T with, just like it's in the picture. So we're going to select that one. That's going to give us that. We want that G with the swish under it. Uh, that one's off to the side. And there it is. There's that G. So I'm going to select that one too. So now we have this T. We have this G. We have this T. I need that one. Um, that's not it. There it is. Right there. There's that T. So I'm going to select that. And like I said, you, you have to look through here. There's going to be a ton of stuff in this font and find it. So all I need now is this with the S. So let's see. Because it's on, I found the one with it off to the right. We need it with it off to the left. With Babel Map, it's a little larger, but I'm going to show you guys another one. Um, where you can look and see there's the A with it to the left. So maybe I'm getting close. Hmm. I wasn't. There it is. So we're going to select that one. Now we have all of these letters and all the swirls that are in this up here. And I'm going to select them all and copy. I'm going to come over here. I'm going to hit text and I'm going to paste. And it's going to give you these little blocks here. I don't know if you can see it. It just looks like blocks. But if you can see, it did give me everything that I wanted. So now I'm going to take this and I am going to ungroup to letters. And I'm going to come up and we're First of all, we're going to select all of these and ungroup them where we had them grouped and place them. I'm going to move that off to the side. So we want to take this T. Oh, I've got that group too. Let me ungroup that. This T, and we're going to move it out of the way. And we're going to stretch this T out. And we want it to be about the same size, so let's get it in there. Oh, did I get the wrong one? There it is. I moved the wrong T there, didn't I? Let me undo that. So I want everything to kind of stay in line. Well, I should have sent that to the back. There we go. You just want to get it to about the same size as everything else. So let's shrink it down a little bit. And... Let's see, that one is 
and 133. We want the height. What was that? 1338. So let's just change that to 338. Now we know it's the right height. And then we're just going to place that in there where that T was. And we can delete that one. Then we're going to replace this T with this one. Let's go ahead and change that height to 1.338. Whatever your height is, whatever you stretched yours to, that's what you want to do. We're going to delete that one. And we're going to put this one in. Lining it up with that R. And then we're going to move that S over because that one's styled just a little bit differently. So it didn't meet up the same way. Now we need this T here. Let's go ahead and change this to 1.338 in height. And I'm going to get rid of that T. Bring this one in. Same with the S. This S is 844. So let me change that to 844. And that's not big enough. I should have looked at the width too. But you can just kind of eyeball it and get it. It's below that. I want to leave that space there. And I like that. That looks good for me. And then we want to do the same with the G. Get that G up in there. So you're just going to stretch them in. I think it needs to be a... Yes, it's coming all the way here. And I'm just trying to duplicate that. Of course, you can make yours look any way that you want it to look. That has an extra tail on it, so that H was changed too. If you'll notice here, it looks like that H was changed. It has more of a tail on it. So let me go back to my character map, and I want to find that H. That's the one we have. I think the H is out. Yeah, they're down here. Let's see. Uh, hmm, I don't think it has that curl in it. But that's okay. They have several different ones. I'm just going to leave the one that I have, but you get the, the general idea of how you um, do this. You can bring that in. I think I would just leave that there. I think I would leave these two as a separate letter myself. And then once you have your word like you want it, of course you want to weld that so that it stays as one image. And, but that's how you use all of those little extras. And this is with any font. Now, um, let me show you a couple more things that are easier. Um, I have font lab pads. Sometimes this shows up on the screen thing and sometimes it doesn't. So if it doesn't, if it looks invisible to you guys, trust me, if you have font lab pad, it's very easy to use and it will work for you. I'm going to open my installed fonts. I'm going to get Street Light. There it is right there. Let me get rid of all the stuff that I had in there previously. I hope you guys can see this. Let me make this smaller. But if you want your font to look exactly like it was intended to look. You can bring this in, but it's going to be as an SVG. You'll still want to do the same. Use your character map. And if you notice, I still had those saved. So you'll want to go ahead and replace those and put those in. Um, 
instead of these letters. Let's see. Oops, I left out my eye. Let me get rid of those. Let me select that cut. That was this T. I'm going to put that there. Um, and that's a, a, a prime example. If you can see this H is connected here and it wasn't connected in the other one, I'm going to get rid of that G. I'm going to, since I have these in here, because character map is, oops, just so hard to see. I wanted that G. There it is. And this T was the long T, which is that one there. And to me, this, this is a simpler way of doing it. If I know my saying, I'm going to go in and get my extra fonts out of my character map. I'm going to come in here and put place them. Um, take that T out. And now we have, I got the wrong T there, didn't I? Let's see. I'll go back to character map and get that one because I want to show you guys how much easier this one is and how it will like look identical to what the artist intended for it to look. Um, that's to the left. We want the ones to the right. That's none. Select it, copy it, come over here and paste it. I got a space in there. Let me get rid of it. Now I have this just like the artist intended for it to look. I'm going to file, save as. I'm just going to save this on my desktop. It's going to save it as an SVG. Um, I'm going to name this street and just save. Then I'm going to go into Design Space. I would upload, upload, browse. And you can drag and drop as well. I'm going to open that. It's going to import this as an SVG. I'm just going to save it I'm, because I'm going to delete this. I'm not going to keep it. There it is. I'm going to insert it. And here you have the one that we did by ourselves using Character Map and Design Space. Here is our SVG. So I can make this as big as or as little as I want. And they did include it. I don't know why it's showing here in their photo and it's not bringing it in. But this is how the artist intended for it to look. So you can tighten that up. You could always put a little swish in there of something and, or slice something and put it in if you want it connected. But that's how easy it is to do with Font Lab. Now, seeing those fonts here like this, I told you it was extremely hard to see. I don't know if I have Bible Map installed. I Every time I install it, it uninstalls itself for me. Yeah, and it's automatically uninstalled again for some reason. Um, so it doesn't work for me. But there is main type high logic, and then there is also Nexus font. These are two that will bring in your fonts so that you can see them. To me, they're a little slow, but I am on a Windows 7 computer. My computer is 10 years old and it's loaded. Um, but it, it works pretty much for everything. Um, but you can click on your installed fonts up here at the top in the library, and it will bring in all of the fonts. Let me make this smaller. Maybe it'll, it'll show you all the fonts installed on your system. And like I said, I don't use this. I just brought it in so that you guys could see it. But from what I understand, you're supposed to be able to type what you 
want it to say, there it goes, like street light. And it will show you what that's going to look like in every um, font that's on your computer. So it's pretty easy to use, uh, but you do have to scroll through. You have to let all your fonts load and look for them. Um, there may be ways of finding them. Control F, let's see. Let's see if it will find it. There it is. And so it's very simple to use. I just haven't spent a great deal of time with this, um, but people say that it makes it easier. I don't know how they're using it with the Babel map and getting those extras. Um, it'll bring it up and show you if it's installed or not. Um, let's see. Yeah, it's not showing me. I'm not sure how they're using this, but you can play around with it and find it. Um, like I said, I'm just used to character map. I'm used to it being small. Babel map does show it to you a little bit larger. Um, High Logic main type um, is another one. I believe a couple of people have mentioned that this one is their favorite. If there is a free edition. There's also, there's an update to install on this. Um, but you can also buy it. Um, I just use the free so that may be why it doesn't work well for me. But you can go in and um, get those extra characters here as well. Um, I'm not really sure exactly. These are font tags. Like I said, I don't play around with these. I don't use them that much. But you can type in what you want to see on this one as well. And it shows you everything in each font. Um, Getting those extras, I just don't know. Other than Bible Map and Character Map, um, I'm not sure how they're getting the extras by using this. I don't know if they're just using this as a font viewer, uh, and that could be the case. But like I said, I use Character Map, and that brings up every font on my system, and it shows me all the extras. So if I wanted to go to the Samantha font, and use it and use the extras that come in that, then I would just change this to Samantha. And then, as you can see, all the the swirls and the letters with all the curls and the curly cues and the THs and all of that stuff, the word these and all that with the fancy, they're all in here. You just have to go in and you have to, to click on them to look at them and insert them just into design space. That's the way that I do it. I hope you guys found this useful. And um, if you have any questions on how to work this street light font or anything or any of the other fonts, please feel free to ask the question in um, the group or leave me a message on the YouTube video. Um, you can even message me privately. Um, but this is how you do this with all your fonts. And Font Lab Pad and Character Map are still my two favorites. Um, but if you find an easier, quicker way, please put it in there. Somebody else may prefer your way over mine. So you have a wonderful crafting day and keep those questions coming.